What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel, and thank you all so much for being here. Uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing, and if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. All right, I got a really cool knife for you guys to check out, and I've had one of these here in the past. It was sent in for me to do a review of by uh, uh, my buddy Craig. So I do have a review video of the, um, this is the American Blade Works Model 1, but this one is the V6, and I don't recall what V, what version Craig's was. Um, this knife was sent in uh, by Nick Riggy or a knife shop by Nick on Instagram, and this will be available in the next knife sale that's coming up soon. Um, I can tell he, has, he hasn't even... He's barely used this thing at all. I don't think it's been used at all. Um, there's no marks on anything. Looks like it has still has factory edge on it. And it, this knife is on washer, so um, it has that washer action, that brand new washer action that will improve over time, if you know what I mean. As those washers get polished up from deploying it, it will become much more drop shutty. Right now it takes a couple shakes, but you know, as uh, you use this knife, it will just become a complete drop shutty. Very similar to Spyderco knives. When you get them new, they're not always very, uh, you know, they're a little tight filling. But as you break them in, they become much more smooth. And this will do the same thing. Um, these are fantastic knives, guys. Um, this is the second one I've had, like I said. They're just fantastic. And even at the uh, the uh, MSRP, what they sell these for at American Blade Works is, is a great deal. $289 for... Full titanium frame lock with 20 CV blade still with a milled titanium pocket clip. I mean, still lock bar insert, um, milled uh, titanium backspacer. You do have a uh, reversible pocket clip here, so it is left hand or right hand tip up only. T15 on the pivot, T8 on all the hardware. Um, it's just a very, very well made knife. And American Blade Works is only a couple hours for me, and I've talked to those guys up there a couple times. And they are currently in the process of setting up some new machines, CNC machines and stuff, I believe. And uh, they're going; these are sold out right now, by the way. But they're going to start running more of those probably by the first of the year, he said. Maybe by the end, end of the year, they'll be running up and running more knives. And they've got a new model that's going to be coming out in the future, which I don't know anything about. But they're going to be running Model 1 and the Model 2, they said. They also told me that uh, I could come up there and film their shop. Uh, once I get the new machine set up and everything, come up there and film some knives being made uh, for, for my channel, which is amazing. And they're, like I said, they're close to home, only like two, two and a half hours from me up in the mountains. It'll be a beautiful mountain drive. So uh, I look very forward to going up there and uh, and seeing seeing them in action, man, because this is fantastic. I mean, this, this is on that level of TRM, right? This is TRM here, um, in my opinion. This is just as good being done just as well as trm knives and a very fair price for uh, a great knife i do have a review like i said of this knife already uh but i'm gonna go ahead and uh give you the details again uh ergonomics are fantastic they are really really good uh, you can choke up here and uh, you get lots lots of control right there you do have some jimping here that actually is pretty good jimping it does give you some traction um flipper tab is jimped now that I will say I wish the jimping was done a little better in the flipper tab a little sharper but it's not bad uh, you can push button it and you but I prefer the light switch I feel like I get more more leverage with the light switch than the push button but you can do the push button um, this would be a cool knife to anodize too guys in my opinion if somebody were to buy this and anodize it, it could take some beautiful uh, Put some beautiful colors on this, especially with the way this is done. I'm going to bring this up to the mic and rub my nail across this milling and let you hear it. You hear that? Just, it's not deep, deep milling, but it gives you some traction. Um, yeah, thick slabs of titanium, which are milled on the inside for weight reduction. And for the size of this knife, it is not that heavy. It really isn't heavy. I can't remember the weight, but we're going to check it again. Um, we go and take the measurements real quick because that's one thing I, I also wish they would do on their website and put more uh, specifications on there for their knives. They're kind of lacking in that. Seven and seven eighths inch long total length. Blade length is going to be three, three and a half, three and a half inch blade. Uh, this way at the thickest spot you got, let's do it on this side of the pot clips, not in the way. The thickest spot you're right at one inch. And the thickness, if I remember correctly, is right out of half an inch. So 
but they are contoured a little bit, so you gotta get it out in the middle to get the thickest spot. Oh, a little less than a half inch, 0.45 inch, so just a hair under half an inch. And the weight on this knife, that's sort of surprising. For the size of this knife, which I'll show you some size comparisons, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a three and a half inch blade. That's a titanium frame lock, and it's, it's very lightweight. Oh, blade thickness I need to get for you also. Weight. 3.9 ounces, so under four ounces for a three and a half inch titanium frame like blade with a blade stock of blade stock thickness 120 thousandths thick. So, yeah, not bad for the weight on this knife. I've definitely held, felled, uh, held much heavier three and a half inch bladed knives. All right, let's uh. Let's uh, do some spider coat comparisons here. Here's a Shaman. It's a little bit shorter than the Shaman, a little thinner than the Shaman, and not quite as wide as the Shaman. So uh, here is the Benchmade Griptilian. Again, same, you know, a little shorter, a little thinner, a little sleeker. Um, what else can we do here? How about the EMP EDC Nimble X? This also will be available in the knife sale coming up soon. FYI. Uh, what else the big boys we got here? Um, how about the Spyderco Capara? Well, I've got it. Um, how are the... Uh, oh, sorry. Bumped the camera. Sorry about that. Here's the... Uh, Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Those two are, it's just a little bit longer than the Yojimbo 2. It's quite a bit shorter than the Kapara. Um, how about the uh, Best Tech Exploit? Sorry, having to reach here. Yeah, a little shorter than the Exploit. Just a hair though. Let's go ahead and do a couple of the regulars here that people will recognize for sure. Most people, anyway. Here's the QSP Penguin. Here's the Benchmade Bug Out. And I thought my pair of three. Oh, and there's my pair of three. And here's the Spider Co. pair of three. So, yeah. Really close in size to the Bug Out. It's a little bit longer than the Bug Out. A um, little bit thinner, but not that much. Or a little bit thicker than the bug out, but not by much, man. It's pretty thin overall. It's not a very thick knife, but um, and not for a size. I, again, the the weight just feels it just feels really good in hand, too, guys. This thing is just so ergonomic with the way they've done this. I mean, it's super ergonomic, and I love the way they did the relief cut on the inside of the scale. Every company should do that instead of putting it out here. It looks so much better when it's like that. Um, lock bar access is fantastic, easy access, and buttery smooth, not hard to push at all, and not uncomfortable at all. Yeah, buttery smooth. Detent, well, don't have a whole lot of room to grab there. It's got a good detent. It's not the strongest detent, but... It's not weak either. It's good for a flipper. It's great for a flipper. Um, I would love to see this knife made with some thumb studs on it. Um, quick studs would actually fit this. Um, so if I owned it, I'd probably throw some quick studs on there. I may even send it off to have some thumb studs just added and drilled and put in there because this knife would be fantastic with thumb studs too. Um, yeah, they, they should really, I hope they release one of these with thumb studs. I'm not a big flipper only guy where I'd pick one of these up. If they release one of these with thumb studs, I will be picking one up. 100% made in America, guys. Support American when you can, if you can. Considering this is a, this one won't be $289. i will give you the price on it when the sale gets here. It'll be less than that um, by, by lo quite a bit, actually. And uh, But for $289, the MSRP price, considering this is the same price, right? Nimble X. And yeah, the Nimble X has, it's more fidgety, um, you know, and it's, it is what it is. Also quite a bit heavier, I think. 
But for this is made in the USA for the same price. Uh, 20 CV blade still, M390 blade still. Um, you know, obviously not as fidgety, but just a great user knife or a great collection knife, honestly. Um, what else we got here to compare it to? That or the Best Tech Exploit. Best Tech Exploit is going to be a little less expensive. It's about 250, but you know, another fantastic knife, more fidgety, but titanium frame lock, 289, made in the USA, guys. I mean, we should support American when we can, and this is a great knife. I would highly recommend this, and you can get these and other finished with for less expensive too. They have some that are like 200 bucks, that are micarta and some other lots of options. Like I said, I'll link their website below, and they're great people. I'll link their Instagram also. They're very responsive on Instagram, and uh, but this one will per, this one will be available for sale before they uh, start running more. So keep an eye out for my next knife sale, and uh, this will be available for you guys to pick up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button for me. If you're new, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next one.